Hello, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you Crystal Karina, astrologer, my favorite astrologer. Mm. Our today topic, uh, we're going to talk about karmic relationship and secret degree. Yes, yes. I'm excited about today's topic. So I'm going to be analyzing the relationship that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard um, had together um, as an individual charts and also as a synastry. And I discovered very, very interesting degrees in both of their chart. So that's why I decided to make this video with you. Other than that, I wouldn't be making a video about this, but I really do think that this is information that people can learn from. Wow, it's so spicy. I just feel it. It's like, ah. Yes. Well, you know, we love this deep, transformative type of astrology where we can evolve from our past uh, actions, right? Our karma. So then we can be better people. So, I mean, even in their relationship, there's still hope for them where they can be better people. So I'm going to start with Johnny Depp's chart because unfortunately for Amber Heard, we don't have a time for her chart. Uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, do we need exact time of the birth? Very spicy, burning question. Yes, I, actually, that's a very popular question. A lot of people have this question because some people don't have their birth time. So obviously, the ideal situation is for you to get your birth time. But that's difficult, especially if it wasn't registered in your birth chart. So there's resolutions that we can do. So one of them being um, placing the sun right on the ascendant. And I like to use numerology. So I always typically use 555 as the birth time when um, the sun is rising. So I want to place the sun in the first house. So that's basically what you have to do. And that's what I did for her chart. There's another method where you can put the sun in the 10th house and that would be, that's called a noon chart. But I prefer to use the birth time chart i'm sorry but i prefer to use the ascendant chart because we're looking at the person through the eyes of the sun which is also a very valid point in our chart like the big three the sun the moon and the rising so at least you can see the perspective of the person through the eyes of the sun and that's why you put it in the first house let's jump I can't yeah. wait. I'm so happy to be with you. <laughs> Yay. So thank you. Thank you. So what I noticed in Johnny Depp's chart is that he had a um, very interesting degree in his chart. So he, his son is at 18 degrees. Now I haven't been following much his, uh, the case with both of them and um, I'm actually a Johnny Depp fan and I'm not favoring anyone here, but I love his movies and um, I've been following his movie. I mean, I'm a movie watcher, so I've been following his work for a long time. So when I looked at his chart and I saw 18 degree because I this sparked my curiosity with the case. I was like, let's look at his chart and see what's going on. 18 degrees. Now he's being accused of being a narcissist. And the 18th degree, according to Nikola Stojanovic and his work, is known to be a very potent and deep degree. He calls it the evil degree because he believes that the people that carry this 18 degree in this chart are either going to be narcissists or they're going to experience narcissistic situations. So you might not be a narcissist, but you might attract narcissistic people. In Johnny Depp's case, he's actually being accused of being a narcissist, but then he is turning around and accusing Amber Heard of being a narcissist. So the narcissist energy is definitely playing out. So that was the first thing I noticed in his chart. Then I went through all his other degrees and I didn't really see anything else that was in one of those deep degrees that Nicola 
um, labeled as caution degrees. But I did notice that he has natally his Venus and Mercury at between 25 and 26 degrees. And there is a fixed star, Al Gol, that sits there. And that is Medusa's head. So um, this star is feared in um, the documentation in ancient astrology because it's a very potent energy. So it gives people tremendous power, but there's consequences with that power. And that's why the star is feared because they can provide riches. However, there's usually a fall from grace because of the misuse of the energy. So he has that too. And I noticed, whoa, that's very strong. Now, with Nikola Stojanovic's um, secret degree theory, he does give the 26 degree importance as that's a degree connected to Taurus. So he says that that's connected to riches and stability and um, being noble, especially the two degrees. And now we jump into. Yes, you have a question. I have a question. Uh, it's OK. Yes. <gasps> It's possible what that 18 degree you was mentioned about falling from the grace. It's, it's possible what it can be something involved with the sex scandal or something about towards that way. Um, if you combine both of the me meanings, yes, because even in Medusa's mythology, the reason why she was banned from being a uh, palace Athena. Uh, devotee or virgin um, is because she there's there's two mythologies linked to it and I really think it's the one where she was taken advantage of by Poseidon and Pallas Athena witnessed her having sex and that was a big deal because she was supposed to devote her life as a virgin to Pallas Athena so she then cursed her with um, being ugly. So that's what, how she got the snakes, right? Um, but she was a very beautiful, beautiful woman or feminine goddess. Now, if we look at the other side of the mythology, she, they say that she gave in to the temptation of Poseidon. So even then, what, where, whatever we choose to analyze, it's still a sex scandal. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I combine, you know, all my knowledge that I have seen play over and over in charts to stand out. And that's why I, um, that's how I analyze things. I just kind of combine everything and I get more insight. So now going into Amber Heard's chart, with her chart, we don't have the time. So like I said, I did a sun chart and I placed the sun in the first house. But even then, the sun only moves one degree a day. So even at rising, she's going to have the sun at two degrees. Now, she was born earlier than sunrise on that day. Her sun will move to one degree in Taurus. But for the rest of the day, whatever time her ascendant is, and if anyone has the time, let me know. So I can adjust this because <laughs> I couldn't find it. She's keeping her um, time uh, of birth secret. We can't find it anywhere. Um, then she's still going to be a two degree person. And they both have that two, two degree tied in with the very strong Taurus energy. She also has Venus at 24 degrees right near Algol. Algol sits at 25 degrees. So her Venus is conjunct that star as well, just like Johnny Depp. So there obviously was an attraction. They have the Venus conjunction together. Um, it's like almost to the exact degree and it kind of started as friendships, but she also has a deep side to her because her son is opposing Pluto at six degrees. Now the six degree is dedicated to the energy of Virgo, just like the 18th degree. And Nicola mentioned mentions that the 18th degree is narcissistic like before, but I really do see that the sixth degree has some of those characteristics as well. And the reason it becomes this way is because it becomes very obsessive and ad analytical and not taking a lot of perspective. Yeah. So this is why I also see the correlation. So I'm doing my own research on that and collecting, you know, information on 
the charts and the clients that I do and see how it plays out in their life. Remember, if you have any of these degrees in your chart, that doesn't mean you're going to be a narcissist or, you know, bad things can happen to you, but you, you will see patterns that in your life, you see people around you either expressing this energy or you're a victim of it or things like that. So it doesn't necessarily always have to be that you carry that energy. So that's one thing that I noticed. And even the aspect by itself, the sun opposing Pluto, that's a very strong personality. So even though she's a Taurus sun, she carries that energy of Scorpio and her, her Pluto is in Scorpio. So it's very, very strong. Um, the other thing that I noticed is that she has Saturn at eight degrees in Sagittarius. So the eight degrees connected to black magic, it's connected to the occult. And this degree point is very special. Now, Nicola was studying the eight degrees of Taurus, and he was correlating that with black magic. But me and you, we've done other charts where we've seen that this eight degree also activates that black magic energy in other placements, not just the Taurus placement, right? So this, mm -hmm. You remember uh, he was suspicious about a degree yes and he was thinking about in any house in any sign yes a degree yes can be our can challenger be magic yeah it can be challenging yeah. it can be black magic and he he was an amazing researcher astrology researcher so this is why he um seeded that idea that it's not just Taurus eight degrees, but he wanted to collect more charts and examples before he made his conclusion. So that's what I loved about his work, that he just collected information and examples. And, you know, that's how he developed his theory. So yes, he did say that the eight degree, um, he feels that every single sign at that point has that energy. And the eight degrees connected to Scorpio. So Saturn at eight degrees in Sagittarius, also gets even more deeper at that point because we have a fixed star called Antares that sits around that eight degree. So it's actually now around nine degrees, I believe, and it's shifting slowly. I think if anything, it probably entered 10 already. I haven't checked because it does move. The fixed stars move very slowly every 72 years. So it was at the end of shifting if it hasn't shifted yet, like I said, but it's still an orb. So then you're bringing in that occult energy of Antares, which bring, brings um, a lot of power, occult knowledge, strength and even the name of Antares carries the name of Aries it's anti-Aries so it has the energy of the god of war within that archetype so these people are very into protecting their energy they're very into the occult they're they're believers of the occult and they usually dive very deep into these matters because they feel it karmically within them that they've practiced this in other lifetimes so she carries that energy so i wouldn't be surprised that this is the reason we can't find her time of birth because she's keeping it a secret she doesn't want her whole chart to be out there and re revealed and analyzed like an astrologer like myself <laughs> by an astrologer like myself right um so the other thing i did notice is a 22 degrees and this is uranian energy now um the 22 degrees is devoted to the energy of kill or be killed, but I already been, I already gave my analysis about this and I really do feel it's an ultimatum degree. I feel it's um, a degree that forces you to either show up and stand up for yourself or run, or you're going to be a victim of the situation. So it brings um, energy of facing a lot of fears and this is connected to the energy of Capricorn. So it does give tremendous strength to people and whoever is experience, experiencing the shadow side of this 22 degree they also tend to be a little bit more self-centered and not have a lot of emotional intelligence towards others because they have their own agenda so it's like i want things my way and that's how they kind of trample over people or they'll see that others act like them with act like that with them and that's when they have to make that ultimatum it's like it's either I stand up for myself or this person takes advantage of me, tramples over me, et cetera, 
or it could be the other way around where they set up those situations and they're doing that to other people. Remember, it's either one side or the other of the coin. And sometimes it's a mixture. Sometimes you could express that in certain relationships and situations. And then other times you attract the opposite. And that goes into, you know, that um, quote that we are what we project. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, um, so yeah, so it's still in Sagittarius and it's actually, uh, forming a, uh, in conjunct aspect to her Taurus placements, which this is the energy of earth and fire coming together. And what does earth and fire create? If we get sand and we heat it up, it makes glass. So even with that archetype, it makes a person very intense, very fixed, and they're really, really focused on solidifying things. Taurus is already a sign that loves to do that. It likes to um, ground things and do uh, certain activities, like per not necessarily perfect, but very ethically and very devoted to the project and just follow through just the follow through is always there and with Sagittarius their belief systems are going to influence them a lot so if you combine both of those it just shows you a person that's very fixed in the work that they do and the belief systems so it's it's a very hard personality just you know summing it up in those degrees so even in the case itself you can see the personality shine through um like I mentioned I'm not team anything um i really do feel that they're both dark people <laughs> so i don't think that um i don't think that johnny is completely innocent and i don't think that she's completely in innocent there's also matters of you know they could have left the relationship sooner and we 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 know in um typically abusive relationships people fall into pattern because you develop patterns that are very karmic and you it's not hard I'm sorry it's not easy to break through it's hard right so you kind of stay stuck but putting in both of the charts together like we see here um this is not 100 accurate because we don't have our time of birth but you can still see how they had a lot of karma to work through in their relationship wow yeah and wow it's interesting from her perspective because this is us looking at the relationship from her perspective and having Johnny's chart on the outside. Um, the south node is conjunct the MC. And we already know the midheaven is a point in um, our chart that is our highest achievement. It's also our legacy. And it's also how the public sees us. And then we have the south node. So Johnny's south node is conjuncting her midheaven from the perspective of her son, making this relationship public. And his moon is there at 13 degrees with her Mars. So that's another thing that happened where his emotions are out there. And um, I mean, as emotional that a moon and Capricorn can get and display, but it's still showing things that happen in the home publicly. And this is from her perspective, from her son's perspective. Um, from his perspective, he has a, a set, uh, ascendant in um, Leo. So this falls into the sixth house of work and the relationship going public affected his work just as much as it affected her because her from her son's perspective, the moon is in her sixth house, but um, he had more of a uh, solidified and long going career. So he was the one that saw more of the loss of contracts and impact in the work that he did through the relationship he had with her. So K2 right there just releasing everything and making it public. Isn't that crazy? It's just like unbelievable how you pick pick them up. It's just like uh, all about that secret degree. It's just like I can't even. Uh, it's so juicy. Can you tell me, please? Can you tell us mm -hmm. 
a few words about MC 19 degree. Yes. Okay. Well, the MC, I mean, in this case, the MC, honestly, I wouldn't give it a lot of importance because remember, we don't have her time of birth and her MC is hypothetical at this point because we're putting um, the sun in the first house. So it will change. But even through the sun's perspective, this is how the sun sees highest achievements. So at 19 degrees, it's considered an angelic degree. And it's also the energy of Libra. And she sought the legal system, the justice system um, through public eye to settle the relationship issues he had, she had with Johnny. So um, the divorce and all that was publicized. So it, it was a very, it's, it's been very long going as well. So even from the sun's perspective, you can see that this 19th degree is playing out. And, um, you know, his, his south node, that doesn't move because we do have his time of birth. But the reason why I wanted to do this chart analysis, and I did it fairly quickly because I don't want to keep you guys here too long. And um, you guys could also always rewatch it. But the reason I wanted to talk about it is because we're having transformation in the Taurus Scorpio axis, and that is deep relationship axis. That is the arena of our um, chart in the natural layout where we bond on a sexual level, on an intimate level, on a loving level. And we're seeing how uh, relationships like this are happening and people are keeping them under wrap right? People are not talking about them. So they're coming out um, really so we can set those boundaries. So we won't continue in relationships like this. So even their karmic relationship, I really feel they had a karma towards um, the collective on this relationship. So when I was looking at their chart, I feel like they've been lovers in past lifetimes. And I've also picked up that they've been lovers in a position of public eye, which then showed a example to people like you stay in bad relationships, you stay in abusive relationships, because that is what you need to do because you're married. And that is that because you can see that energy of Taurus there. And we yeah. have North node right on her Taurus, right? So and his Venus and his Mercury. Yeah, <gasps> can I have can I have a quick yes, yes. guys? Can you please leave the comment? Anybody who wants another video on karmic relationship, past life. Yes, yes. Leave the comments. Yes, let us know. Let us know. Secret that... degree and karmic relationship with past life between this couple. That's wow. Yes, you, you can see it and it's being played out again. And this is why I think it is because they already went to court. It was already settled and it's continuing to come back. And the reason it's doing that is because they had more debt to the collective to really show us this is not acceptable. Being in relationships like this is not acceptable. Um, and I know that there's other reasons why, why, why people are paying attention to the relationship and we're having like team Johnny and team, you know, whatever. But for me, I'm very neutral about it because we are what we, per no, yes, we are what we project. So there's, you know, they're like two peas to a pod. You can use that analogy too. They're alike. There's a reason why they got together but it was very toxic and they weren't able to work it out. So they had to separate. And this is how they end up like kind of severing that contract by really showing to the world, this is what we did and we need to close this chapter. So um, in into perspective, I really think that we have to see this type of relationship come out because as as people in the public eye, we end up thinking that they have the ideal life, like the perfect life. And that's not the case if we see how like tremendously like damaging they were to each other. Like it's yeah. just, 
you know, Amazing. yeah, even all the pictures that she's bringing in, it's like, oh, wow, you were collecting all these pictures. And it's just, you know, the it's just very nasty. And um, I think there's a higher purpose for this to be public. And that's about having healthy relationships, honestly. So, yeah. Amazing. Amazing how you pick it up. It's like you can go with this couple on and on. Oh, yes. Plus karmic pattern, plus secret degree. All that. It's a so, so spicy. Thank you so much. You know, I love it to hear you. I love it to spend time with you. And I hope people leave the comments. Yes, yes. I mean, like you said, we could go on and on and on, but you know, for the sake of time, because there's other things. He has that Uranus Mars conjunction. His son is conjunct her Chiron. So there had there's healing. There's healing that needs to be done. They just couldn't do it on their own. They need the help of the public <laughs> and the justice system. So yeah, even her um, his Chiron is conjunct her Jupiter. So there's a reason why they came together. They just weren't able to do it together to solve it. So that's why they're calling upon the public to heal their relationship. Amazing. It's really amazing. Well, thank you so much for having me. I really love oh, these video videos. I don't even want to let you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish what I can ask you more, but I'm going to ask you again. Guys, please leave your comments. Love you, Crystal Karina. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.